Hey, what's going on guys, Arava here, and welcome back to the F1 2017 co-op career mode or online career with myself, Arava, and Tom97HD. We're here for the Canadian Grand Prix, round number seven, and it was a pretty damn awesome day for myself, and a good one for Tom as well, and qualifying Tom, and I think we're both very ready for Canada. Interesting strategy, maybe, though, a uh, little hesitation between both of us on what we could go for. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, first of all, you've got the, the, the lovely advantage of having P1 and obviously there's such a huge run into the first corner so you're obviously going to be under threat by various cars whereas I'm a bit more in the pack in P7 and I'm at risk of definitely maybe um, my front wing having a few issues. The one stop on super softs is a bit tight for tire wear so maybe a soft compound might have to come into play. So um, it's all to play for and it's quite open which I quite like. Other than that we can hopefully have a good race. I know uh, we are pretty quick around here compared to the AI so it might turn out to be a straight fight between myself and Arav and uh, this could be pretty interesting Arav. Yeah, I think so. But without further ado, I think nothing more needs to be said. Let's get going to the Canadian Grand Prix. This five red weird. lights. <laughs> I don't have anyone in front of me to five red lights. And we're, and we're away. away. I have no idea what my start's like. I think it's okay, poor. It's poor. Bad. I've been attacked oh, the by both Mercs. Oh, okay. Whoa. Ooh. I think there's a bit Ooh. of a lag or maybe screen freezing going on there. Okay. Um, 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 yeah, cool. Right. Yeah, what happened? I'm, I'm fourth. I'll take that. What? Jeez. Yeah, very good. Very nice. There was Jeremy Clarkson. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, I just somehow managed into turn one in first. I think, I think the screen freezes helped me a little bit because the Mercs lagged a bit back. But now I'm under attack straight away by Bottas. I feel like the Mercedes power, bog standard obviously on this online session is going to be a bit too much maybe for me. But we'll try and see what we do in the corners. And Tom's into third now, I can see, so... We're looking bloody very hell. good so far. We're looking very, very good. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sniffing early on here. The, the qualifying pace was not there, but, you know, admittedly with a bit of an assist to the to the lag, we've uh, we've, prov we've made a very good start to this Grand Prix. Um, I can't tell. I think the lag was definitely a screen freeze on my end, um, right, okay. which sort of triggered it. So, uh, yeah, that's sort of... Uh, for a change, it actually helped me out, so... We are in this race now, and uh, that was a very nice chunk of the chicane I've taken out of there. So uh, <laughs> let's see if we can get past Bottas. I am screen freezing a lot um, on this pit straight, which is where my frames drop. Um, so yeah, we'll, keep an eye, we'll keep a keen eye on it, but for now, you're in the lead still, and it looks like you're actually now settling into this race a bit. Yeah, I think so. Trying to settle in. A little bit of a snap of oversteer here and there. But uh, we'll try our best to get away from Bottas, let him fight Tom, hopefully hold up Tom because I, I have a feeling I don't know just by the way you started yeah there's some there's some lag or screen freezing involved but I think you've got some very decent pace in that Red Bull really in the corners it feels just, good so far but I'm not going to get carried away I mean Bottas has just left me for dead that back straight there that AI just finds some yeah off, the, off that right hander in the, off that chicane they are godly yeah like they're absolutely untouchable so uh it just sees me too far behind into the hairpin for, an, for a possible attack on his back straight and uh Hamilton's looking a bit good for company here, so I might have to be more concerned with what's behind me rather than what's yeah. in front of me here. <laughs> Look every every direction, really. Uh, oh, Bottas is definitely closing in a lot more this lap. With the rich mix, I'm definitely um, holding my own in a straight line with this Renault power unit or Tag Heuer branded power unit. So, um, yeah, not too bad. Look at that. Fast lap to Grand Prix. The RS is unable. He's got so, some pace there. Okay, we're definitely, um, we're looking good this lap. We're, I'm definitely close to what I have been, and I don't think, uh, I'm very hot into there to be fair, but I don't think he'll have DRS on you, or he might do, I can't he really might, tell. He might, I don't know. I think, I'm, I think I may have fluffed it in terms of taking away DRS for him uh, on the hair. Yeah, thing. I think he's got DRS. I can just about see a rear flap open there, but I've got DRS, and uh, hopefully if I could just get a good run. I know for this final chicane I'm pretty good, so if I can just get the run and flow over it like it's an absolute straight line, then I might have a run to one, but so far Bottas is uh, holding his other now, fast up of yours. Definitely settling into his race a bit now. Yeah, I think it's going to be, a, I think once you get past Bottas, which I think is inevitable, there's going to be a fine little duel of the cards and the strategy really on what's going to happen between me and Tommy here today. I'd even say a duel of the cards as well, I, I fancy my chances so far. <laughs> I guess that's where we strategize this time Bottas won't have DRS from you so definitely not. I'm definitely a bit closer he is flying away from me in that initial phase I've left Hamilton for dead by the way he's like he's, he's just fallen off the face of this earth so uh, 
So this front four set the pace early on. Nice and aggressive for the chicane. Bottas has had a bit of a shaky exit out of the wall of champion chicane. Oh, and he just lagged forward. Great. Just when I thought I was getting close. <laughs> See what, we're a little bit, uh, a little bit close into here. Do I dare go for it? Uh, I was tempted, but realistically, nothing. I probably would have ended up in a scream and a shout and a spin. Let's be fair, maybe. Yeah, many regrets. I've just got to get a good exit out of the hairpin. Or if I get a good exit out of the hairpin, then I am all good. A little bit of a laugh tap there. I thought for a second the end plate would have been RIP, but we are close. I don't want to get too close in the slipstream because I'm, I fear, I fear the worst. Up the inside in the turn one. Just about pulling it back onto the tarmac there, not running onto the grass. We've made it stick. So, uh, first and second, you set a fast up just now to uh, sort of respond to my imminent pass on the sort of arrow. But I guess now we see what sort of lap times we can exchange. I'm curious here. Wow. I'm curious of what your strategy is going to be because you were very, very half and half when, you, when we were looking through the strategy before we started I was, recording. I was giving away no classified intel. Gonna have to constantly monitor here, right? what you're doing into that final chicane. When did he? When does he pull the trigger? Well, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you could be double bluffing here. You could be the one to pull the trigger here. I like, I like what you're doing, but it could be you who very well might change your mind. <laughs> <laughs> the hour for double bluff. I like it. Oh god, I hate that. that second chicane is disgusting now. Yeah, these rear tires are definitely you know, like, yep, yeah, I can't handle that, bro. You're putting me to too much stress. The balance is all wrong for <laughs> the there. balance. The Nat West balance is very wrong. The Barclays balance. I feel like I've got no brakes on this car. The braking into the hairpin's very spongy. Yeah, it just doesn't want to slow down. Oh, I've cooked it into there. Oh, I lost a lot of time in that last chicane right there. I lost a lot of time. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I lost uh, like a second, I think, there. Nice bit of Colin McRae. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh! I am... Uh, keep, keep doing those. I am flirting. Definitely lost a bit of time this time. I lost time last time. Oh, my frames are so poor around here. I'm not going to lie, like, my frames are good on the top left. I can see it. Oh, I just had a bit of a screen freeze. Um... Frames are good, but through the first sector especially, when I go through the right hand off the first chicane, I just my eyes start to like feel funny, like it's almost like yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's going jittery, but the frame rate's apparently still fine. Oh, screen freeze. Oh! Oh, you still still alive? Yeah, I'm still alive, still alive. The screen freeze as I turned into the corner. So that, I mean, wasn't, that wasn't ideal. One more of them and I'd, I'd be in DRS. I will say that I had I have a little annoyance with Windows 10. I updated it after updating and then tracking back on the update about five different times. But since they had that whole virus crisis, I thought, okay, I'll keep the update. And ever since then, uh, F my F1 game's not been as smooth, buttery smooth as the previous version of Windows 10. So I don't know what on earth the Craters update, ironically, is uh, is playing at. This is, this is the excuse early on. Yeah. Being cracked open. Bro, I've had this issue for about a year now. Since I've had Windows 10. Since one of the first updates I've had it. <laughs> because the way 2016 and 17 worked, this is exactly the same. My 2016 was very buttery. And then an update came out. And then since then it's sort of been a bit... I've sort of gotten acclimatised to it, put it that way. Anyway. Trigger has been pulled. Alright. I know what he's doing now. So how are you going? Um, let me have a look at the the old heads-up display. I basically just made this race very awkward for you, haven't I? You have, because now I have no idea where you really are in terms of after I make my first pit stop, and so I don't really know when to make that first pit stop. The numbers, Mason. You're gonna have to be run very quickly. We had a bit of a freeze squeeze. Green squeeze, yeah, love it through the chicken. Oh, I just had one on the exit. Seems like you and me have a concurring issue here. Yeah, both our games are shite now. And your PC is the top of the range, so I know it's not just mine. Your PC is top of the pot. Basically, oh. dear Windows 10, why has your update, called the Creators update, ironically, made creating a video more annoying? 
also encourages a little bit of uh, optimization for lower end PCs with, with not better miss. <laughs> so the hairpin breaks are not feeling any better. When they... Surely though, I mean, even if you do go for the monster, you're going to have to go into the soft compound tires. Surely the supers are a bit of a stretch. We shall see, we shall see. Are you going to just go for Spain again? Do I need to bring that up? Hey, that worked. Um, Nearly. I believe, it, I believe it did not. Spain did work. Um, it's just that I messed suggest. up. I messed up the traction when battling you. I mean, you would have made it to the end of the race, albeit with four punctures. Right on the back of Perez, it's going to be a very similar move to the one I pulled off on my teammate. Getting nice and close and personal through the fast right hand to the first sector split. Up the inside. Bish, bash, bosh. We are into P3. 4-0-1-2, which I want to try and win the party for. So uh, let's get the hammer down. Right, I can confirm I pulled my trigger. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. I pulled my trigger. Uh -huh. That is, yeah, that is soft tyres. Like, the numbers, I'm telling you, man, it was impossible for go super softs. The numbers would not allow it. You don't know. There's some weird numbers Marinelle will come up with sometimes. Alright, so you're behind me, but you're going to have a little bit of nice company there with Perez. I'm just going to keep on doing my thing. I've already passed him, so... Although, oh my god, I've got... Ah! Shit. What's happened there, then? I've lost my front wing. <laughs> ah. I literally that, had um, no grip turning in there. I went across yeah. the grass and straight into the wall. Yeah, I, I had a similar issue. That's when uh, when I see the pits, I was like, ah, no back end. What happened there? Well, Cold tires. fuck. Oh, it's a bit of a breeze now, isn't it? Uh, I'm fighting Ricardo now. Without no, a front wing. wing. Yeah, very long haul. Can I even slow the car down in time? I can. Right, oh, well, just, that's... We're still in this race, technically. It's all a bit... Yeah, I'm still in contention for some decent points, but I'm pretty much out of contention against you. Well, I, th I think I will... I I'm going to have to stop again. There is no... I can't go to the end on these. I'm going to have to stop again. So, I think even if I pit now, I will be behind you. Nah, no chance. I'm in P... I'm in P9. Mm. P10. Look, you're in, look at your, the very last screen your heads up display and see where it says you're going to come out. Imagine if there's a safety car now. Oh, down the inside of Massa. That's close. That's a bit too close. Shove off, Massa. Just piss off. Right. No, I don't really want to come in earlier. The tired. SRD is open. Oh, he's not for knock on. Do I dare go for this move? Yes, I will. You've, just, you've got to, to be honest. Ooh, bit of contact. Pushes me wide. The, is it up the inside of the left-hander by chance? It now was. Now the traction OP right-hander for them. Ah, oh, I see my teammates up next to you. Nice. Oh, lag spike. Fuck. Oh. Ocon just hopped ahead. And now hop back. You just hop back. Thank you, Ocon. What, as in our hop back, as in behind you position? No, he just hopped back quite a bit so that the just had to break normally and I could make the overtake. That was enough on Ricciardo. Lucky not to do. Horner. Kill switch. <laughs> not it. again. Oh. Kill switch return confirmed. Here we go. Ricardo on Ricardo. And it's as simple as that. Hamilton Lewis has come in before he pissed off. He has. As has Ranio Dicciardo again. As that happened then. I think you're racing Sergio Perez, if I'm not mistaken. I will be if I catch him. How far ahead is he? Four seconds, four point seven. Right, so you're twenty-two seconds behind me there. That's interesting. At the moment the best I can hope for is a two three for Ferrari. I think it's it's looking more like a one three to be honest. I've got a lot of work to catch Rag. I'm going to have to catch up an entire pit stop in one stint on Rag, pretty much. Throwing to the planet, obviously. Oh, my shit! Ah! Well. Oh. Well, then. What's happened there? Um. As he just JB Canada well. Hamilton U2011. No, well, because I was in the reverse position. I was where Hamilton was. Um, okay, that, what I did was I went for some Ferrari ping pong there. 
I went for some bunny hopping and then some ping pong with Hamilton and the wall. And uh, that's, that's, that's not ended ideally. Really not ideally. From pole to DNF. Right, I'm gonna get some rich mix flying for this back straight. Going and also main straight. Final, final corner of the second last lap of the Grand Prix. Right in. Push my luck. Goes through the chicane. He's closing up on Alonso. Tom is right behind. They're all in one shot here as they go down the main straight into turn one. Kimmy. Right, we are pushing hard now. Okay, Alonso. Kill switch. <laughs> oh, no, I've got the line wrong through there. Okay, Tom with a bit of a snaky the... exit there. And Kimmy into the hairpin. He can see the light of day for another victory for him this season and for Ferrari. Ah. Mm. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> what the? <laughs> He's had a bad. He's had a bad. Uh -huh. He's had a bad. He's had a very bad. In the final uh. death, he's made a mistake. And he's going to finish in definite second. Kimi wins it. Decent stuff for Ferrari. Makes up for me being a twat with Hamilton. And Tom. Oh, right. Sick. And Tom gets a penalty across. He won't care too much. Actually, he might do because Hamilton's right there. Yeah, I've, I've, I've lost second. And so Tom is going to finish in third position with my helmet like, still. Which wait, is... what? I feel, I feel like um, that felt like a DNF, to be honest. What went on? You just lost the track back end out of the corner. Did you hit Alonso? I, I, I just pulled off a Kimi special at the Kimi corner. Decent. Decent. Well, that's 15 points there for him. Unfortunately, still, that's enough to pull Tom quite a bit ahead now of me. 59 to 39, 20 points ahead. So I ever need to now pull up the socks and come back at him next race. Yeah, how's it all done there? Kimmy's win does well though, because uh, Ferrari still lead the way by 24 points. So it feels perfectly fine, man. I'm, I'm the rear gunner for Kimmy this season, clearly. So I all just right. need to keep up, keep up with. Uh, to keep be fair, up. I can't say much. Ricardo's actually ahead of me still. He is. How's that happen then? He is. Which is strange, because Ricardo's been an absolute turtle the last three races. Well, I've still got, I've still got work to do then. But yeah, there we go for the Canadian Grand Prix. Topsy turvy for both of us uh, at different points of the race. All I can say is, um, yeah, I just messed up again. <laughs> I'm not very good at these live reaction racing, am I? It's it, This concentration just goes one second and bam, you're done. And I had a bit of a ping pong session with Hamilton. But in the end, Tom also had a bit of a, a bad at the end there. I still don't understand how he did it, but, you know, it was kind of weird because... I had a view of Kimi coming down the back straight, so it just, I, all I saw was in the background just a Red Bull sideways going towards the wall. <laughs> I, I look forward to watching this on your POV. I definitely uh, I created a lot of smoke. Yeah, a little but, bit of smoke um, as you span around. Yeah, I think tyres were just letting go, and realistically, I don't think I would have passed Kimi. I would have had to like absolutely throw it into the chicane at the risk of a penalty for corner yeah. cutting and hope for the best. So... I think I would have only finished second anyway. So that's going to be it for the Canadian Grand Prix. If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. If you are new your hand here, then do get subscribed to either channel. Links in the description. We'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.